to Nigeria now where it is possible to test for malaria using urine instead of blood samples. The Nigerian Health Ministry has been encouraging people to use a new testing technology that uses urine samples to give quick diagnosis of clinical malaria. Susan Mongeli with that report. Residents queue to test for malaria. Unlike the conventional blood tests, this particular one is a urine test. It uses a test strip which is placed in a container of urine and left to stand for 25 minutes. If two lines appear across the strip, the test is positive, while if one line appears, it is negative. Health workers here are also using this medical camp to train locals on how to do the tests. A urine malaria test saves us a lot of stress. You will not prick to take blood for tests. And um, it's very convenient for patients, especially in children, that would not want them to be touched with anything like pricking of blood. And uh, this urine malaria test kit is such a nice one that is so convenient for even the patient to run a test by himself. The non-blood malaria test kit was developed in the U.S. by a Nigerian-born doctor, Eddie Agbo. The kit is currently being manufactured in the U.S. with plans to produce it in Nigeria in the future. We were looking for opportunities to come up with a product that would solve these issues in emerging market. And we found a product um, at John Hopkins University. It wasn't actually a product, more like research at that point. So we took it on, we licensed it, um, developed a prototype of the product, did a lot of research to further develop the product into what it is now. Once we developed the product to an actual prototype, we then did clinical trials here in Nigeria where we tested the urine samples of patients with fever in Nigeria. The urine malaria test innovators say the kit will help reduce unpleasant tests and also costs, while discouraging people from self-medicating whenever they have a fever. The kits are already being sold in pharmacies across the country and could be useful in remote areas where patients may not have access to laboratory services. I personally think that it's revolutionary because um, being here and having a lot of family members that are not necessarily um, they don't necessarily take care of themselves well, so whenever anything is wrong, it's malaria. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, some diet changes, everything is malaria. And so then they take medications. And I think this is um, really, really good for them because at least before they take the medications, regardless of what it is, they're able to know for sure that if it's malaria or not. A new report by researchers from the University of California indicates that malaria has been wiped out in half of the world's countries. The World Health Organization, however, warns that close to 3.2 billion people, almost half the world's population, are still at risk of contracting the disease. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.